Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, my name is Lisa and I make one of these videos every single month and I'm so proud to say this is actually my 11th consecutive month. So next month is actually gonna be the one year anniversary of these videos. So I'm super, super excited that I've made it this far and also this consistently. But anyway, if you guys are new here, basically the requirements of this video is pretty simple. I need to try the products for the entire month, really test them out and basically review it onto this video. If I don't actually like it, they will never make it onto this video. So even if I do have partners for this video the requirements stay the same it's pretty strict I do communicate to them if I've tried it and end up not liking it I kind of tell them like it can't be featured or something like that so thankfully in this video we have two partners that did make it onto this video because I did try their products and honestly they are amazing so I will be going through them with you a little bit later but first I want to go through the categories of today's video so today's video is going to be the same categories we have jewelry we have hair we have eyelashes we have have some makeup, fragrance, skincare, and finally some COVID friendly products. Sorry, I'm just looking over here because I'm going through the list of products that we're going to be going through today. So I'm gonna start off by talking about the usual first category, which is jewelry. So for jewelry, we have two products. We have the Harris Bold Chain Earrings, which looks like this, but I also have it on my ear, which I will show you in a second. And I also have the chain bracelet, which I will also feature. This one is the bigger one, so I'll have the exact name over here as well for you. I just love, love, love these two products. Both of them are solid gold. You have the option of wearing it all the time. I'm gonna start off first by talking about the Harris chain earrings. Basically, when I first saw these online, I already fell in love because of the way it looks. I love the versatility of being able to wear it like this and also being able to hook the chain behind and wear it like a loop. So this is the way that I'm wearing it today and it is in a loop as you guys can see. Another thing about these earrings is like I said, you can wear it obviously like dangling. You can loop onto the very last chain like so or you can do what I do and I kind of shortened it myself and I kind of like link in the middle which actually really looks really interesting because it now has this like chainy thing going it has the loop and it also has another piece that is dangling so I have that with this right here I believe that if you look at the back you can see some of it dangle as well one thing about this piece is that because it needs space for that loopy thing in the back the actual backing of the earrings are actually much much longer than your usual. If you can see the length of this, it's quite long. It needs space for the loopy thing to go through and for the stud to go on the back of that. With this being solid gold, I usually, as you guys know, if you guys are not new to my videos, if you watch both my Majuri videos, you guys will know that I actually like to just sleep with all of my solid gold jewelry. But with this one, because the backing is so long, when I sleep on it, I've tried sleeping on it before, it just really feels uncomfortable. And with any other other of Majuri's earrings that I've ever reviewed so far, the ones that are solid gold, I've never ever had this problem. They've actually always just been small enough and dainty enough that it wouldn't bother me in a comfort level, but because of the thickness of the back, I don't recommend sleeping on it because it might be a little bit uncomfortable for you, but look-wise, this ended up being something that I would just put on every single day during the day, and I'm actually gonna go put this on in a second after I show you guys this because of just how thick the back is, like I said. This one, love the look, but maybe don't sleep with it like I did because that was not comfortable. So the second jewelry product is the flat curb chain bracelet and this is what it looks like. So I am pairing this with the boyfriend bracelet, which I've reviewed before, but this is what the two of them look like together. And this is also solid gold, so I never take it off now, but I really like how it just kind of like hugs my wrist. I also like the thickness of the bracelet so that it doesn't fall off or get caught or break or anything. This definitely has that durability aspect. I got the smallest size 
size in this one so I was able to just link it at the very very end like this where's the boyfriend bracelet I just also really like it because you can adjust the size as you wish so this is kind of what the two of them look like and I feel like I'm gonna start building like a more extensive bracelet collection so those are the two jewelry products and as usual you guys can use 10% off with my code down below it is a link so it's not really a code so it only works if you click on the link and if you're having any problems just let me know in the comments down below feel free to use that for 10% off your entire purchase so the next category I'm gonna go into is hair and so once again this is one of the sponsors for today this is from the Tresemme Pro collection this is what the shampoo and conditioner looks like the bottle is quite big as you guys can see it is bigger than some of the other shampoos and conditioners I've been using in the last few months if you guys have been watching those videos what I love about these products is a few things number one it is so 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 comparable to a lot of the luxury hair products that I've used and I feel like the effects of this is the same almost in terms of fragrance feel etc I feel like this is just such a great product for what it is you don't have to be spending the money of the super super luxurious products it's so comparable this is such a great dupe so I highly recommend checking it out if you guys want kind of like a luxury product but a little bit more affordable and you're getting more product the second thing is that I was absolutely astonished by the lack of hair fallout for these products if you guys have been following me for a while you guys know that my first original hair problem before I got into the whole curly hair thing was all about fallout because back then I was like a university student and I was super stressed out so I was constantly looking for hair products that was good for fallout this one is one of them and I've been using it for the whole month just to test out whether or not I was like is this a fluke or whatever the effects are are so drastic so I have two videos how much hair came out with the shampoo and then the second one is how much hair came out after I conditioned so you guys can see the first one and then the second one is the conditioner hair on top of the shampoo hair that's not the conditioner alone it's what goes on top but it was actually insane to me because as you guys know when I wash my hair I actually just like comb it through and I put it and plaster it on the wall because I don't like touching the drain but I was just super surprised at how little hair fell out if you guys are looking for a good Good anti hair fallout shampoo and conditioner I really really recommend these two I feel like this wasn't advertised as such but this is always one of the criteria that I look for when I'm trying out new shampoos and conditioners is what is really the effect of the shampoo and conditioner is it hydration is it to at least help my hair fall out less etc I just want to stress how important it is to use good quality hair products because for me personally I just am so scared to fall out I'm so scared to like damage my hair in any way it's especially after I got onto this curly hair journey. I just want to avoid using heat, like bad products, etc. So definitely take a look at this shampoo and conditioner. Lastly, what I will say as well is that the fragrance is very mild, but nice. So if this is also what you're looking for, then definitely check this out. Okay, so the next product that I wanted to review this month is actually a false lashes brand. So this is Every Lashes, and these are the lashes that I got this month. I am trying just two of them. So the first First one that I have tried is the happy hour one this one has like a milder look I'm so sorry if it looks a little bit messy because I've already worn this so that's why it looks like that but then the second one that I am trying is don't tempt me and it is actually the lashes that I'm wearing today and I'm gonna give you a up close in a second but I do want to talk about kind of the lashes and the review that I have the other ones I haven't actually gotten a chance to try because they're very very like party friendly they're super Super, super glam I only tried the ones that are more suitable for every day I do want to say a few things about these lashes so first of all I love the whole branding of these lashes because they're really made for the Asian eye this was kind of the mindset the founder had in mind for these lashes which obviously works well for me because I have monolids and I have hooded eyelids so if you guys are looking for that then definitely give that a try the second thing is that I wanted to talk about the band of these lashes so these lashes bands I'm actually such a fan because number one they are not super 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 thin but they're also not super super thick it's like just in the middle if you're super bothered by the super thin ones or like the super thick ones from other brands this one I feel like is the perfect medium the second thing I wanted to say is that I did try my usual hack of lashes if you guys haven't seen that video go ahead and check it out I now apply lashes from underneath and I also pre-cut the lashes as well just because I find that it looks a lot more seamless that way so I tried it with 
the lash happy hour I actually find that it wasn't necessary I realized that the way that the band was made it is so nice to the point that you don't actually need to do the under lash method it doesn't have that lifting that usual lashes do I also find that when you use it with an eyelash glue that is black like this one the pink duo one it actually looks super super seamless the reason why I wanted to mention this is because I know that some Asian lashes for example my best friend Teresa if you guys don't know her I have a podcast with her she actually tried the under lash method and she was not a fan and it just didn't work for her eyes because she was like it's too small etc it just really didn't work for her so I recommended these lashes for her because the band on these are actually so great to the point that you don't even need to do the under eye method and it will still look seamless so I'm gonna give you a close up but just remember once again to use the black lash glue you also don't need to cut these as well as my previous method I do find that it works a lot better with some of the other lash brands but for this one I was very pleasantly surprised at how little I have to maintain them and after a really long time I almost never put my lashes on top anymore unless if they're magnetic but I actually did it for these lashes and it worked out great the other thing I wanted to mention about the lash brand that I absolutely love is that they have such a wide range of lashes first of all not only do they have the glam ones like I said they have the everyday ones that I've also tried but they also have ones that are for smaller eyes so the one that I'm wearing is actually meant for smaller eyes they actually start and end a little bit smaller if you're not used to the really really long ones or if you find that you're always cutting your lashes definitely give this a try because this has bands that are just already small they also have ones that are already meant to be a little bit shorter so I'm gonna show you the one right here lashes like this it's a little bit shorter in length compared to something like this I would say this is like the industry average of what lashes look like but this one they make it really for the smaller eyes and for a shorter length which I honestly find that would be perfect for Asian lashes or Asian eyes because we have the whole hooded thing going on and sometimes if you have something too long it just makes your face look unbalanced if you guys have struggled with those problems definitely check out the brand because I actually really love them I'm gonna give you a close-up of don't tempt me so as you guys can see if you look at the top surprisingly compared to some other glue lash brands these ones look super seamless and you cannot tell that I'm wearing eyelashes how natural and seamless that they look I just highly recommend especially if you don't like the under eye method that I've suggested this is gonna be for you I do want to just mention that I have 10% off all the lashes at every lashes so you can use getaway for 10% off the next category that I want to go into is actually makeup and I have a few products that I want to talk to you guys about in makeup actually just two products so if you guys follow me on Instagram you know that the two pipe products of this month that I've been driving all over the entire city for all the drugstores everywhere is the NYX lipstick that is super hype and also the L'Oreal infallible powder I'm gonna first talk about the NYX shine loud lipstick so this is actually the lipstick that I am wearing now as you guys can see what is unique about this product is two things the first thing is that on one end they have the color so you guys can see this is where you apply the color the color actually alone comes out extremely matte then they have the end of the gloss which is on this side and you can apply the gloss on top of the matte color so you have the glossy look why was this product super hype is because this product lasts forever, all day, no matter what in the world you're doing. So I'm gonna expose myself a little bit here, but you know what? This is for the sake of an honest review, so I'm gonna tell you. I have worn this lipstick, and why I've been loving it also is because if you guys watch my other vlog, I recently got Invisalign, and I didn't realize how much of a pain in the ass Invisalign was gonna be in terms of lipstick, because no matter what lipstick or what gloss that I would apply, it would always go in between my Invisaligns, and it was so gross, and you guys know how much I love lip gloss so this actually pains me I was struggling to find a Invisalign friendly lip product that isn't just regular lip balm I have found it my friends you guys this product is so magical in terms of lasting and long wear and just like never coming off if you guys saw like Glamzilla's TikTok you know that there's no transfer so even like right now I'll show you guys like 
nothing like nothing this is why this product went viral because it lasts forever and there's absolutely zero transfer so i'm going to tell you the list of things that i've done with this lipstick and it's never come off okay and i would just like to keep in mind this is not like each individual thing it is like i did this back to back and it still didn't come off so i went on a date we had dinner okay lasted all throughout dinner lasted all throughout drinks when i drank in from my cup there was no like lip stain it lasted through kissing <laughs> But anyway, just had to tell you guys that because um, like I said, this is an honest review. Even after kissing, it literally looks like I just applied a fresh coat of lipstick. Afterwards, when I came home, I brushed my teeth and it still lasted through that because I had to brush my teeth like right away just to put the Invisalign back on and then I showered and took off all my makeup. So that's why I brushed my teeth first. Basically, after I brushed my teeth, the lipstick was still on. You guys, like I actually don't understand. I mean, the one con of this product is a few things. The first thing is like, I don't know know like what kind of ingredient like I actually have to personally go and like investigate because like it seems almost too good to be true I'm actually wondering what the heck is like in this product that makes it stay on so well like I'm just like super curious the second thing is that I actually find it super hard to take off like even with all my cleansing oils and my cellar water and stuff like that I have like a difficult time taking it off I find that the only thing that really helps was like exfoliating my lip a little bit and that's when it really comes off so if you've used this product and if it was super easy for you to take off please let us all know in the comment section down below and i will pin it because i have no idea how to easily take off this lipstick and this is how great and how long that this lipstick lasts for there is that i know that was like super extensive the second makeup product that i want to talk about is the l'oreal infallible 24 hour fresh wear and this one is also super viral because if you guys don't know this is a powder inside it comes with a little sponge and and the coverage is amazing. It's almost like just putting on both a liquid foundation and powder on top. Like you don't need liquid foundation on this. Right after primer, you can immediately put this on. My two reviews of this product is as such. Number one, you have to use primer because my first impression of this product, I put it on TikTok. After putting on sunscreen, I forgot to put primer and I used this and it actually started clumping at the bottom of my neck. On the other side though, I remembered and I started putting on primer and then that clumping thing went away so if you guys are going to use this product I highly recommend using primer the second thing is that I really like how after using this I feel like I didn't need to use powder so if you guys are in a little bit more of a rush and you're tired of the liquid foundation plus powder routine I would just go straight with this product and call it a day because that's pretty good the third thing that I want to say also actually is that people like to use it with a brush but I personally found it a little bit more effective just using their sponge that they provide you so I highly recommend just using the sponge if you want to and prefer it as a powder you can but the coverage is less when you use a brush the last thing that I want to say about this product and not just this product their entire infallible line I absolutely love them if you guys checked out my foundation review from a couple of months ago I will leave a picture here but basically the L'Oreal infallible liquid foundation is one of my favorite foundations in the world and it is so good for the price you need to check out that video because I do a whole extensive price comparison and quality and like coverage so you guys need to go watch that video this one is definitely oh so amazing and also their infallible line is just very very on point the next product that i want to review is actually michael kors's new fragrance line it's called gorgeous this is what the perfume looks like i'm gonna leave the notes here because i'm not gonna list them all verbally i can't even remember it but i just want to say kind of like the feeling that i get with this fragrance i feel like it's a really really great like almost young adulthood like you're just like coming of age type of type of fragrance I want to be super deep about this but also it's like a really great nighttime fragrance it's definitely a little bit more sophisticated and it definitely isn't just like super light and fragrancy and like florally this one definitely has a sophistication aspect to it so I feel like this is really perfect for nighttime daytime whatever so I've been wearing this a lot like for date night as opposed to kind of like during the day and this also came Came with a body lotion as well which I also love I'm actually gonna keep this one in the car for me actually because I don't know I have a 
whole thing going on in my car and I will do another video on that show you guys what I leave in my car but basically this fragrance like I said I absolutely love it has like a little bit more sophistication than the other ones in my collection in Vancouver I highly recommend checking it out especially if you guys are looking for like a nice daytime fragrance and so far you know the guy that I went on a date with seemed to like it so I mean, if that means anything to any of you, but yeah, this is kind of my review for this product. Okay, so moving on to skincare. So the first one I wanna go through is the Solasu First Care Activating Serum. So this is what the package looks like. It is going to be different than what it usually looks like. So I'm gonna leave a picture of their typical packaging. The only reason why mine looks red and glam and different and special, this is actually their limited edition for Lunar New Year. And I believe the bottle is actually bigger than their regular one. I cannot stress enough how much I love this serum. Like how much I can't even... Anyway, I just, I love the serum. The first thing that you need to know about using this is actually, even though it is labeled as a serum, you use this product right after cleansing. So right after cleansing, do not use your toner, use a serum instead. And I do find that the absorption of all the products that I use afterwards was so much more effective. I noticed more firmness to my skin, texture as well, like went away like quite quickly once I converted to this product. It is very, very pretty. Pricey, I would say because it is like a luxury skincare product. However, the efficacy of this product is just Oh, so on point that you guys have to check it out if you haven't already. I was late to the boat because I already heard of this product a very, very long time ago and I only finally just tried it. So this product isn't actually new. I'm just kind of letting you know, cool story, bro. Like I've tried it now type of thing. So if you haven't, definitely check this out. Incorporate it in the first step of your morning and nighttime routine after cleansing, after cleansing. So the next product I'm actually not reviewing. It's more of a PSA because I said this on Instagram. The other sort of like pre-essence product that I've been trying to review is the L'Oreal Youth Code. So I just wanted to come on here in case anyone was waiting for a review on this. Basically, I'm actually going to review it for next month because it hasn't accumulated enough days for me to feel comfortable putting it in a video. So you're going to have to stay tuned for April's favorites to hear about this one, but it hasn't been long enough for me, so I don't want to put it on this video yet. Next two products are from Dermalogica. If you guys know, Dermalogica has been a long time favorite brand of mine. This one is actually going to be a two month review because I didn't end up putting it in my last month. So I've used this for two months. So I know for a fact that I love this product and also the lip product. So the first one is their ultra calming cleanser. This is what it looks like. This product is like, if I had to kind of give an analogy, I would like to say this is like the most like delicate little flower type of product for your face. So if you have like super sensitive skin and you're looking for a very calming, like not so aggressive face wash, your skin's like easily irritated. This is the product for you, my friend. <laughs> Because honestly, I've used this for two months and I just feel like it does the cleansing, just everything except without like having that super harsh effect. Even after you wash it, you're not feeling like <laughs> sound, you know? Okay, actually I'm not doing it right, but like, you know that like window sound, like when it's like super, super clean and you're just like, oh my God, it's stripped away every single oil of mine doesn't have that feeling. I also really like this bottle because I just leave it on the counter. Me and my dad both use this and it's like super big and it's like very pump friendly. The one thing that I will recommend for this product is if you are looking for a gentle cleanser, but you also want to exfoliate your face at the same time, I highly recommend using it with a tool like the Clarisonic, if you guys still have that product or a Foreo. It's almost like too gentle if you just use it for your fingers. And if you want to add that little exfoliating aspect, I highly recommend using it with one of the tools. The second product that I've been loving, this one is more because it's very Invisalign friendly in my opinion, the Renewal Lip Complex. And it just looks like this, the, oh my God, I'm so sorry. This looks super gross, but I'm going to show you because let's keep it real on here, shall we? So this is what it looks like. As you guys can see, the lip balm just kind of comes out. But the reason why I've been using it a lot and you see a little bit of color is because I try to put this underneath this lipstick because this lipstick, as you guys know, is super matte and it doesn't transfer. So just to add that little bit of hydration, I'll put this on, let it dry for a little bit and then apply this lipstick. If you guys are looking for like a balm, I highly recommend this little lip product. The last section of this video, I know this video has gone on for so, so, so long, but I 
hope you guys have been enjoying it and honestly I feel like this series has only gotten more and more intense it's gotten more intense the reviews have got a little bit more stricter than back when I first started last April but we were also approaching the one year anniversary of this series so I'm super excited but anyway the next products I wanted to show you guys is actually ASOP's new line and it's all super COVID friendly so I'm gonna show you what it is it is their sanitizer set so the first product is just their sanitizer so if you guys are looking for like a luxurious travel sanitizer covid set i highly recommend the set the first one is their resurrection rinse free hand wash aka hand sanitizer this is what the bottle looks like you guys can see how little the product is. It's just, if I can hold it like this, you guys know just how small it is because I have very small hands. But this is what the product looks like. I don't need to tell you guys how good ASOP products look and smell and also how effective it is. This is just something so cute like that I leave in my purse and it's just such a great little sanitizer bottle and super aesthetic. The second one is another sanitizer product and this is actually their spray. You can use this on your hand or for me, like I actually like to use the spray on other things so i'll just show you what the spray looks like first this is what it looks like and as you can see it is a spray what i love about this product or sprays in general is that if you don't like that like gooeyness if you just want to spray and not touch anything or for me like when i'm out i'll actually spray my phone because i just feel like if you're leaving your phone like if you're at a restaurant or anywhere and you leave your phone on the counter i just feel like it's super gross so for me i don't actually personally use it for my hand i use it for like things like my phone so i feel like i'm cleaning my phone throughout the day so i think that's personally like super useful and other things that you can think about like spraying as well if you don't want to like do the whole rubbing thing or like if the sanitizer is like too clumpy and like too watery highly recommend trying out a spray and the last product is just their hand lotion because obviously this last few years as we continue to sanitize our hands etc like our hands get super 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 dry and gross so it's always good to have hand lotion on you so you're also hydrating your hand as you go for me because of how expensive i know asap products are and i just like want to value it i feel like i just use it so sparingly i'm just like oh, i just want to use like so little but this is their resurrection aromatic hand balm and if you guys are familiar with the brand you probably already know this hand lotion but this is just kind of like their mini size and it just came with a set so if you guys are interested you can purchase it all in one as a set they also actually collaborated with a artist so I'm gonna leave the package here for you guys to see but it is super cute and I just oh I love everything from Aesop and I'm sure you guys will too once you guys try or maybe if you already have you guys will know how great this brand is nothing but good things to say about them so anyway I know this video has gone on for so so long but I had so many great products this month that I wanted to share with you guys so I hope you guys enjoyed the video and make sure you guys stay tuned for next month's video because next month is once again the one year anniversary of this series so I really hope you guys have been enjoying it all year thank you guys so much for watching this video and i hope to see you guys in the next one bye